right, step into my office, guys. Step into my office. Let's get the the cup holders going. Here's one set of cup holders. Of course, I got some on each side door there. And uh, if you're wondering what the heck this is, this is my bug out bag, which I have a video about that. Oh, it's heavy. My gosh. Jesus. But it's it's worth its weight in gold, you guys. That right there, I finally filled up the two jugs of water here, two liters, one liter each. And I just cover the bag out of sight, out of mind, more camouflage, gray with gray, and you can't really see it from, from far away versus the bright, bright blue. So anyhow, yeah, this is my, my office here. I've got all my camping equipment back here. And this is, this is my, my more hidden private office view here. Plenty of leg room, guys. Plenty of leg room. So let's get to it. Let's get to the topic of the day. Let me flip the camera around. All right, y'all. So as I have my my hot chocolate, actually, here's the cute little logo that I have. This is my newest logo, which I love very much. The van and me. Some yummy hot chocolate. All right, y'all, let's get back into the video. The topic of the video is three, three reasons why full-time van life sucks. Yeah, I should have brought my tripod, but yeah, anyway. Three of the main reasons why I think fan life sucks. In my opinion, my observations and my personal, <laughs> my personal observations, experience, etc. Number one, number one, number one. The most annoying part for me was the lack of space which entails all kinds of different things, right? Um, not enough space to put a regular bed, for example. You can put a twin size bed and put a frame in here, but then you have no room for anything else. You have to get rid of your seats, which I have the middle row here. And when it's in camper van mode, it is more crowded than I would like. So you have to be more minimal. You can't stand up. That's another thing. You cannot stand up. You have to be either on your knees or your back bent over or having to sit down and kind of maneuver your way around. So lack of space. That is a big thing to, yeah, lack of space is one of the, the biggest things that I hate about van life, full-time van life. In a minivan, that is. And not to mention in a car, because I started in a Prius. I started off living in a Prius, and I quickly found out that that was not for me. Daily driver, awesome, awesome. Um, reliability, um, daily driver, perfect car, MPGs were awesome, etc. But to live in? Oh gosh, no, I cannot do it. I, I was looking, actually, before I even started living in a vehicle, I was looking for a van because I wanted to have more gadgets, more space, more, just more. I wanted more than what a small car could hold and I, I quickly found <laughs> I quickly found a van but I didn't find it before I started living full-time I had to um, move to California 
and then look for something there and luckily I found it that's the one that Cora has now that's the van that Cora has now and um, then I found this van in Oklahoma so yeah the lack of space and what all that entails that is my number one reason why full-time living in a van especially a minivan sucks the second reason second reason for me is you're constantly moving constantly going from one place to another to another to another even if you limit the amount of times that you're constantly moving around um, it's still like it's an inconvenience because with all that entails um, you may or may not have built your your camper van on the inside you might do a no build build like I do I prefer a no build build um, but all that entails you constantly having to move around to look for a bathroom to look for water to look for um, I was gonna say groceries but people got to do that in the house too you got to go and do grocery shopping anyway right so maybe that's not what I'm trying to say um, to cook to clean to bathe to use the bathroom you can you can make it work in here but just having like the the basic amenities that we're used to the running water the flushing toilet the hot showers etc so yeah all the amenities that we're used to it takes a lot longer to do anything and you have to go from this place to that place to that place to that place but like I said even if you don't go to many places you at least have to go from where you where you parked that you slept um, overnight to somewhere else in the morning to where you need to hang out for the day even if it's the park from where you parked to the park and then back to where you parked like that's the minimum amount of times that a typical person living in their van full-time will have to do uh, yeah I haven't had hot chocolate in a minute so that yeah everything takes longer and to get to doing whatever takes longer and you have to go drive to it so that's a that's another bundled up reason why full-time van life sucks in my opinion and the third one the third one what was the third one hmm I guess a third reason why van life, full-time van life, sucked for me. One of the things that really irritates me is not getting a good night's sleep. Oh my gosh, I get so cranky. Just like not having a good cup of coffee. Ugh, I get cranky. <laughs> oh my God, it's not the end of the world, guys, right? But having a good night's sleep and a good cup of coffee boy that makes all the difference that makes all the difference so back to it not getting a good night's sleep for me I am a light sleeper I can't sleep through like people walking by um, talking being on their phones you know just whatever walking their dog whatever it may be you're parked in public streets um, Unless you're, you have like some agreement where you can park at somebody's driveway or somebody's like private parking area or, you know, you have something like that. But for the most part, when you're living full time van life in an urban setting, in a city setting, because I'm not talking about BLM, I'm not talking about anything like that. This is personal experience. I'm a light sleeper. So I'm constantly being woken up by people walking right by my my van 
talking, just living their life, doing their thing, right? But it wakes me up. Also, sometimes cars driving by, if I don't put my Reflectix or um, if I, uh, yeah, if I don't put my Reflectix, which most of the time I do, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> sometimes I didn't and before I hooked myself up with Reflectix that was another thing where the street lights the car lights the car headlights it's just it hurts your eyes it just depends on which way they're driving you know if you don't have your window covers if you don't have Reflectix if you don't have something like that then that that bothers me so not being able to have a good night's rest is a is a big deal to me that was one of the things that that really sucked about van life as well so those are my three top reasons why personally for me full-time van life sucked those are like the sucky parts of it everything else was badass everything else is cool and don't get me wrong there's more pros than cons but I thought I'd share the three top reasons why full-time van life for me in a minivan and a car sucked they really did that that was a, a challenge that was a challenge in itself and um, yeah having having to like like i was saying having to go everywhere to do what you need to do and i had a super minimal setup i have more things now um i had a few things stored with my brother which i um i have picked up i have it now and so i have more things right um i plan on getting a home base I plan on keeping a home base at least 80 plus percent of the time and then also having my camper van my daily driver my shit hit the fan van but um, yeah even to like brush my teeth go use the restroom I just had super basic things which was a few bags and um, a twin size mattress like that was the main thing that I had and I loved it. I kept it very simple in the very beginning and it was nice, but at the same time, it's like to brush your teeth, to go have coffee, to go potty, to shower, to this, to that, like you have to constantly be moving and it's a pain. It's a pain, especially when you're trying to be more stealthy, you're trying to be sneaky, you're taking your, your toothbrush, your toothpaste or whatever in the morning to some kind of uh, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, whatever bathroom they have and trying to be real quick about brushing your teeth and all that because I prefer the running water. So I chose to, to more often than not go into a actual bathroom and, you know, have the water, wash my face, brush my teeth, fix my hair, etc. versus um, doing it in the van. So, I mean, you can do it in the van, but that was my preference. That was my experience. Now I have more gadgets, more things I've collected over time. And now I, I'm i living in, a, in an RV and I have the, the camper van, my Toyota Sienna, which I, by the way, this is a 2018 Toyota Sienna. And um, she just got to where she has about 50,000 miles on her, so. It's, it's going to last me a very, very, very long time. So I plan on having this beautiful ride for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. However long it, I can push it and just keep it going. That's how long I'm going to have this beauty. So little by little, I've been collecting, purchasing... Um, people have been gifting me things too, by the way. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And, you know, little gadgets, electrical things. And so I've been um, going more towards solar and batteries and electrical versus 
um, the butane stove and the chest cooler and, and such, you know, things like that. So it's, it's going to get to a point where it's all my gadgets are going to go off just uh, solar. And I think that's going to work a lot better for me. So, oh, if I add one more bonus, one more bonus why full-time van life sucks. <laughs> a tiny little, little uh, reason that van life may suck, which I have not experienced. But this also is in the back of my mind. I know people who have had things, situations, etc. So it's basically theft. A lot of people get like their bicycles, their e-bikes stolen, their generators stolen. I'm not sure if they've had their, um, what do you call it, their solar panels up on their roof stolen. But that's one of the things besides it being stolen, my solar panels, um, to have to have a damage from uh, bad weather like a hailstorm or a, a rock while I'm driving through the interstate or something like those those are my concerns that's that's one thing because you're having to to be out in the open you can't just park under some covered parking spot um, and you have to be out in the open like that that's a big big concern for me so that's another reason that van life full-time van life for me sucks but that's a very small one because it has not happened to me but i've had um i've had a lot of stories told to me and i've also watched videos of um some videos some channels that i'm subscribed to and they mention how how people have tried to steal how people have broken in and you know things like that so that's in the back of my mind i'm blessed that so far that has not happened to me thank goodness but you know that that's another i guess we'd call it a number four reason why or a little bonus reason in my mind but basically it's the the top three reasons why full-time van life especially in a minivan sucked for me so cheers y'all and put this back in the cup holder <sighs> all right so don't get me wrong those are just the three three reasons that i kind of bundled up together like you can break each reason more farther down but basically those are the three reasons why i personally think full-time van life sucks especially in a minivan or anything smaller than that now i'm going to be making a um another video that are the the reasons why I think van life is freaking awesome because there are more pros than cons in my opinion so check that out coming soon and um, yeah don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed hit that bell uh, put a comment below and I will catch you guys on the next one bye guys